So I've been hearing a lot of stirring and rumbling in the community. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually very excited for this conversation because yeah. we might have different takes on it. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. Um, so I hear yeah. that Unity has made some changes <laughs> to their pricing for their uh, engine. Yes. Yes, they have. Are you, are you aware of, of this? Yeah, I read a little bit about this um, very briefly. It wasn't really well explained in the article, but what, from what I understand, they are going to charge developers a fee based on a certain, like after a certain threshold mm -hmm. for uh, either total income or total downloads. Uh, I think there's two different thresholds that they can hit to the point where now they are going to be charged on a monthly basis a fee to use Unity Engine, uh, which has never been the case prior. And they are going to do this retroactively for games that have massive player bases that use Unity, like Escape from Tarkov and Rust. Are, are you sure it's retroactively or moving forward? Any of these games that are already out there, they're it's, not retroactively it's, charged, yeah. but the massive ones that have these user bases, like starting like this month coming up, yeah. are going to be charged. They're going to catch a bill from Unity. Well, this is, this doesn't, it's not starting yet. It's not starting for a little while. 2024. There sometime. are terms. 2024 is when it starts. All yeah. right. The, the beginning there are a of 2024. couple of terms to that, though. I think your okay. contract, if you renew your contract before then, it also starts. Mm. So what I see is, if you are a Unity free, um, there's tiers of Unity. So there's like plus and enterprise, and then there's your free at the bottom. Okay. So if you're a Unity free, you don't have to pay for Unity. However, if one of your games gets over 200,000 downloads... Mm -hmm. Then each one of those next downloads is going, you're going to have to pay 20 cents. Or, like you said, there's a money threshold, $200,000. Mm. Then each download after that, 20 cents. I see. So that is, what, 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 what do you think? What's your take is on it that? Is it going to be like a gross thres threshold? Or are we talking like after Steam's cut? You know what I mean? That's like, interesting. Uh, I, can do, I can do a little explanation on that if you'd like. Sure. I did some research. So um, there are actually two thresholds. You have to hit, I believe, both of them um, mm. just before you will actually have fees applied. So it's the revenue. It's a revenue. And this is the key word here is revenue threshold. Mm -hmm. uh, and like some said, it's 200,000 starting. Yeah. Um, so that's on the revenue that's, threshold. That's just straight up even no not even worrying about yeah. steam revenue is all the money coming in correct that yeah. is not profit yeah. that is revenue mm -hmm. and then there's an install threshold which starts at 2000 installs and that's the other key thing here 200,000 not it's not downloads it's installs 200,000 right. correct not not 200,000 200,000 okay 200,000 yes. sorry yeah 200,000 and so people who own the game mm -hmm. yeah so what what is your distinction there Abe? like i'm trying to think of how someone downloads well, but doesn't install this is right where there. this is where the like and this is where people are bitching and trying to get them to qualify it too is that you know technically if you buy the game and download it and have it installed and then if you reinstall the game i guess that technically uh, could be a download yes. again yes but if if i if i you know i delete games all the time because i'm right. not playing them and if i want to get back, back and reinstall it right that's a fresh install that's interesting that's wild that's interesting. So what's also really interesting is uh games that have like these flash in the pan moments and honestly mm -hmm. for for me one of my favorite games of 2022 that came out of nowhere was cult of the lamb yeah. And that is built out on Unity and they definitely retroactively qualify for this. But it's not like it's one of those games that's going to continue to make and um, print a bunch of money like Tarkov or Rust, right? Like they got their haul, so to speak, when it was popping, when it first came out and everyone was excited and they played it and bada bing, bada boom. Yeah. Now, everything moving forward, they're going to be charged for still as a small 
indie studio. Yeah, but you could look at it as like they, they got the bag before the contract came in. So apparently they're going to remove their game from the marketplace. Well, so let's then let's talk about this. Where where are you going to go? What what system are you going to use? Because un- be all marketplaces, not you, just the, like the, I mean, I'm sure that this applies to everything. Well, for sure, it's it's being made on the engine, not the marketplace. Right. So you could Correct. sell it anywhere, as long as it's being installed. Unity's right. getting a cut after that threshold. So, yeah. but here's the thing: where are these people going? Where are these developers think they're going to go? Where they're getting better money? Have you? Do you know what the Unreal Engine split is? Are are either of you familiar? I'm not familiar with that one. So I'm pretty sure Unreal Engine, after a million downloads, is uh, or after a million rev, is five percent royalty. So twenty cents per install, as opposed to five percent royalty. Say if you're selling a thirty dollar game, five percent of that is a dollar fifty. So I, I'm I'm on I'm I might not that's have on the all the sale though right I'm sorry that's what that's that's on this to clarify once again that is on the sale right. itself yeah not well, on the actual I, not, download I, I, and install I don't have that information whether it's it's sale or install the whole install thing is a little funky to me on the Unity side I'm I I'll give you that I really don't think that's a smart way to do it I think sale is better. But just like straight up with the percentages, it sounds like Unity still has better, better split. If I'll tell you what Unity doesn't have better um, development platform. Uh, oh, it is by and large, like especially for at least for multiplayer sake, is one of the single worst platforms out there. <laughs> Super dated, um, the worst netcode of all time. I mean, it's genuinely like a meme in like the game development uh, industry. So I, uh, I just find it to be such a weird play when it's already a dated engine. They did try to like, they have this like new unity update that came out, I think in the last like year and a half, two years. And, uh, some games have tried migrating to it relatively unsuccessfully, but on top of that, they, they don't work with devs well. They specifically don't help them uh, migrate tools or help that like build out feature sets that are necessary for games that are really big within them. Sure. Or that you that use their platform. Unreal Engine, on the other hand, is trying to do it all for everyone. Yep. And there's a to me, as far as like what the two are offering, there's just a massive disparity here, man. And so for them to think that they're in the conversation of being able to pull something like this off with the product that they offer is just absolutely ludicrous to me. It might, based it on might what not, I've seen. It might not be that, dude. It might be they're going, we have to bring in funds, guys. We're dying. Right. And instead of being creative and being innovative, right. they go, I yeah. guess we could just charge our people more. Infinitely, infinitely more likely the situation to me. And uh, they yeah, did it's just shame. have an IPO. <laughs> To make that clear, they had an IPO. Well, all right. So, how did they make their money in the first before that? Were people not having to pay, or was there a different type of revenue split? Are Are we aware of that, Abe? Do you think you could pull that information up for me? And then also, uh, I would assume yes. it's like you pay to license it for commercial use would be my assumption. But so, like a membership a year, depending on your size. I have no and, idea. Yeah. Okay. And then what I'm also interested in is also seeing that split of uh, amount of developers and studios that are using Unreal as opposed to Unity. I'd love to get that information. But overall, I don't, I don't know why developers are furious about this when, I mean, maybe they just like... I mean, they, backlash is... Uh, the instant backlash is part of them just like trying to cover their own ass, even if they're like not actually incensed. Um, they just don't want this to be established as a norm, right? Mm-hmm. They want to have options that allow them to expand and grow that don't instantly cut into every profit margin possible. So, so Abe's got this pulled up right now. We have scroll up for me, bro. All right, so we have Unity Pro, which is two thousand dollars. You could publish the game. You could publish to game consoles. Um, you get some features, 
So you could sell this for two hundred or two thousand dollars. You could sell games on Unity Pro. This is your account. Let's go to Enterprise. Um, Enterprise, you have to get a custom quote. You're super big for that. Uh, Unity Industry is about five thousand dollars, and you get training. It doesn't say anything about the sales. Like you're paying. And then it doesn't say anything about back end revenue coming in. So maybe there was never that. And maybe that's right. why they're furious in the first place. I think that's likely. That if that's the case, I understand f uh, be people being mad because now they're getting charged. Right. It's go you go from not being charged to getting charged for sure. But then when you look at what else is out there, uh, Unreal Engine is definitely, a, in my opinion, the more favorable product. But you're also paying, if you're making it and you guys are a big studio, you're paying a lot of royalty. Not a lot, but 5%. That's more than what they're trying to get out of you. Yeah, Unity. I think you can make that up by like intelligently uh, marketing and hosting your game on a platform that isn't Steam, right? I mean, if you're saving 30% by not going out on Steam, then it oh, doesn't you, matter at the okay. end of the day. You're saying make up that margin by cutting out Steam. Yeah. And you're going to make up more than that margin, so you're going to even add more profit into your... I mean, you're gaining 20% off the top by just putting it out on Epic, like, instead, so. You, is or, Epic or there? 30% off the top without, you know, with build your own, just have it hosted on your own website, sure. just like uh, Dark and Darker did, is circumvent, you know, any liability for these platforms. I'm always a fan of that. The tricky part is you got to drive the traffic, but I'm always a fan of doing. You know what drives traffic best, Slum? Controversy? Making a good game. Oh, yeah, yeah that too. Yeah. Making a good game. That'll get you every time. But controversy helps too sometimes. <laughs> it is 2023. I won't, I won't deny that. Um, all right. So I'd like, to, I'd like to see where this goes. I'm interested in it. It sounds like they have reason to be furious if they, got, if they just start getting ch charged out of nowhere. It's unfortunate. That is what's going to happen, yes. Um, yeah, I mean, they, they did a press release. They're they're doing it, so it's interesting. I, I'm excited to see where it goes. I'd be interested to see if Unreal Engine makes a boss move and says, "Hey guys, we're actually dropping our five percent to four <laughs> percent." That's what you do right now if you're Unreal Engine. Maybe Grab they a might not even be share for the boys. Oh yeah, when there's blood in the water, bro, go swimming. Yeah. Um, I hear you. All right, so we'll we'll check big we'll check back in on that um because that's very interesting and i'm an unreal engine fan you know you know me oh but mm -hmm. i wanted to ask you is epic you said release it on epic games or something like that but is epic games marketplace is that like almost to the steam level or is steam just on a total there. another level it's definitely getting there it's not to the steam level but they've done they've done some very smart moves um ultimately some of the games that uh go onto the marketplace for that 10 percent a lot of them agree to have their game be given out for free at certain points. And so there's like basically daily free game offers or weekly day or weekly game offers on Epic. And that's how they drive traffic by pre presenting that, um, uh, that value right off the rip. And so people download and they build out their libraries with all these free games and they're great games. Like it just, it's a, this rotating thing, yeah. but then they get, they get people to, fall into the habit of using the platform and now all of a sudden they're buying things on the platform and they've been doing that for a couple of years now um since they came out and it's much improved from their day one product i still think that uh, obviously the traffic on steam is undeniable um but at the same time yeah i mean if you are looking to if your gaming is your hobby and it's like what you're really into uh, then you know that it can definitely be expensive and Epic Games cuts that in half, if not more, uh, in the long run. If you just choose to use that platform other, over others and you won't ever be at like a loss for like things to play, which is really cool. So I think that like between that and like an Xbox Games Pass, I don't, I don't understand, plus all the great free to play games out there. It doesn't have to be pricey to play games, but I do know people who simul like while that exists are just in the habit like they, they're set in their ways and they are pre-ordering the the gold edition of every game through steam every every time it comes out and then they complain that they get burned so oh i mean gosh. you know buyer beware <laughs> i yeah. want to just touch on something you just mentioned too mark with the xbox game pass 
that's one of the things that these developers are actually incredibly concerned about with the unity engine because if your game gets included for free as part of xbox box game pass now yep. you're going to see an Giga influx downloads. of downloads and yep. zero revenue as a yep. result of that because once again it's it's once you hit the threshold you hit the threshold so that's a huge point of contention in all of this that's yep. so interesting dude that's brutal wow yeah i mean it's again like this is a program that just like it you can't just it's like trying to fit a, a square shape through a fucking round hole, man. Like you just can't do it. It just doesn't fit in today's model. Uh, and you, you know, it's like, I don't know what they expected and you know, how, how they expected this to be received, but they had to be at least ready for some sort of backlash. Crazy. Well, we'll see where it goes, dude. That was a yeah. very interesting point, Abe. That's I'd like to, I think they probably thought about that and they might have a workaround or something, but that's very interesting, dude. No. It doesn't appear to that be makes one of us. <laughs> that makes one of us. I don't think they gave a shit. <laughs> this feels like a sinking ship and they're just they're clawing for whatever they can hold on to. Yeah. Yeah. How many people be. can they fit onto that door and floating in the water? I think Mythbusters did. It was like seven. Okay. We'll see. We, I don't know though. Maybe we'll figure it out. We'll put, put a door Savage, in your hot bro. tub, figure it out. Good guy. Yeah. yeah, we could try it. All right. Um, well, so I do like that people are stuck in their ways and they're they're on Steam because Steam helps them stay connected, you know? So mm -hmm. on the topic of staying connected, I'm actually going to do a little jump over. It seems that Apple is ditching the lightning charger on the iPhone 15. And you do you know what the I, lightning charger I, is, right? I don't think that they're necessarily ditching it. I that wasn't it. What th didn't like a court rule that they basically had to give up their their uh, bullshit just because of the way that they do things over there. The like, way that they the charge you for everything. You need a dongle for this. Yep. You need a dongle for that. We have yep. our own our own special like patented Box. charger. Everything yeah. you have to buy from us. Yep. Nothing is interchangeable. The cube is a certain voltage. You don't want to use a normal cube. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's eggshell right? white. That's so all you know. You sure? It's real. Are, are we? Are what? What exactly went down? Like, uh, are, uh, are they packaging lists? Like, uh, they're making a gracious decision because I'm not so sure that. They had a whole choice in it, though. I'd be curious. I'd be curious to hear. I could put a touch of clarity on that. Put a touch right. of clarity so on I, it, dude. I believe most of the things you're referencing were coming out of the EU and the EU forcing some regulation on a lot of the things with the dongles and things like that, not in the United States. Right. It appears to me that Apple made the executive decision to just ditch the lightning on all its devices in accordance with the, the EU gotcha. uh, proceedings mm -hmm. and then just apply it to everybody. Right. Well, that's, that's lucky, man. That someone out there has standards, and uh, well, you know, I'm I'm glad that they're being held accountable. It's just like so grimy, uh, and and at the end of the day, like I feel like it's ultimately going to going to have held them back, right? To not just have some sort of universal thing because people are tired of that bullshit, man. Like, I, there's so many situations where. Like, yeah, everyone wants to have their Apple product and like, you know, it's the Apple life, ride or die. Sure. Uh, I'm a mad guy, blah, 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 blah. But how many shitty situations can you get put in in your day to day over year after year where it's like, well, this comes back to dick me again. You know what I mean? Like I'm on an airplane and I can't plug anything in. Uh, I can't, I didn't bring this adapter for the USB from the airplane. So now I can't charge my phone can't do any of my products you know what i mean it's I, like i, I can't use a splitter with the person next to me because they don't have like we don't we don't have like uh two separate it's not all apple you, you ever try to use a splitter with apple with apple products you be splitting what are splitter. you what are you splitting to be able to list like two people watching a movie on an airplane headphones yeah bro i haven't had a cord in i haven't had a cord in a headphone since freaking 18 years ago dude that is correct. You know, like you could listen on two sets of uh, earbuds yep. or AirPod, yep. AirPods, right? At the same time. Yes. But if someone has a different USB device or a different Bluetooth device, guess what? You can't send audio to them. Not. No, 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 no. No, you sure as shit can't. Uh, yes, you can. <laughs> if you're going Spotify, you can use multiple, whoever wants to connect. 
Um, if you're doing phone, I don't know if you, you can connect on Apple to multiple Bluetooth devices. Not Let's sure about has headphones. Netflix downloaded. Okay. And they have the, so they were going to listen from the iPhone yep. on their AirPods. Yep. Can't send that to a non Apple device to listen as well. A non Apple headphone. Like if I had wireless yeah, like Bose buds. or something. Like say I have, you know, I have uh bluebirds. Sure. Right. Yeah, I can't. I can't. So get that that's signal. a Netflix thing because Spotify allows you to. You think? Yeah, I, I, I am hundred percent sure Spotify does that. I'm not hundred percent sure if Netflix was like, let's not do it intentionally. But is it is it part of Spotify's like listen along? Because then isn't it technically also running on the other person's device? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Is that? Are, yeah, that are, that separates yeah. it a little bit. Yeah, mm. all right, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all now, right, all fair. Of a sudden, I'm just listening to it on my uh, my phone. Fair, okay. All right. So, but that has nothing to do with the charger. Like that's yes, that's Apple, and they want to like make it hard to communicate with other people. Yeah, it's the culture. It's the culture for sure, it's and the they cult. make it. So when you were talking about plugging in dongles, proprietary. And, yes, when you were talking about the plugging in dongles and bullshit like that, I don't relate to that hard. But I relate to the. I wish I could just airdrop Markstrom right now. I wish yep. I could just share headphones right now. As if the as if the the technology doesn't exist. Yes. We all, it's the same technology. Yes. on all of it. Apple and uses no Samsung screens. It shouldn't be able to go back and forth. Right. Yeah. Yes. Um. All right. So, but. You know what's interesting about the charger thing? The iPads have used USB C for years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why? Why were they not doing it on I, the phone? Different department, dude. They put up a fight for a while holding on to that lightning charger. I don't know well, why. Let it be a thing of the past, man. You know what? It started. I well, have so many devices in my house. Like Alexandra has like a little dongle or or connector or something like hidden all over the house. Every room, bro, has something. That's good. She's smart. You gotta be prepared, dude. I'm wonder how much it cost us <laughs> especially <laughs> because you have 40, to 40 plus bucks a pop i guarantee it yep, for, you have to buy three the, inches of cable dude you have to buy the box separately and they started doing that like three years ago i i got an iphone so super excited pop the iphone out apple's an experience dude you open the box <laughs> boom if you, if you lift the top the bottom just falls out peel that screen off Peel it right off. Then you go under it and you look at the cord and you're like, that cord's nice. Then you go under it and you're like, where's the, uh, where's the box though? I need a box to plug this cord into. Oh, you got to buy that separately. Unreal, dude. I just bought a freaking $1,500 phone yeah, from you. Yeah. How much was this phone again? Oh, that's crazy. Well, we, we left it out so the box could be smaller. And you know what? Honestly, I'm, I don't know whether to be mad or... I appreciate that, dude, because pa unboxing <laughs> is an experience. You know what I mean? So no, having I it nice and having it nice and small, mm -hmm. it's fun, but it's bullshit as well. All right. Um. So they ditched the lightning. It's coming out. I don't know when iPhone 15 is coming out, but that's also bullshit because I just got the iPhone 14. What the, <laughs> what the fuck? You slow. <laughs> News you lose, kid. What the frick, dude? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's unlucky. Oh my well, god! I, I have a quick question for you guys though, on this topic too. Have you been in a mixed charger relationship? Yes. Like where am, your spouse is the opposite. Yeah, okay. Markstrom's yeah. been in one that's forever. A, that that's a pain in the ass. That is a pain in the ass. Yeah, she is. Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it would be that bad. Me and Trisha rarely share a charger. No. But it's it's the fact that you have to always have both cords. They just Recently started giving you the wall charger unit that has like multiple USB ins so you could run two cords out right. of it. Who started doing that? Well, not not Apple. You got to buy it like third more party. common. Yeah. Like I have a big that have multiple yeah. inserts. That's what I have. I have like a gigantic cube next to my yeah. bed and I could plug like eight things into it. Right. Back before that was commonplace though, you had to have you had to have shit at the ready. And the thing is too room. is like they are they are uh they had to run two cubes. And they're different, right? But they, but you can't plug both of them in on the same outlet because they don't fit next to each other. So you do need two oh, completely different outlets, dude. You don't even under, <laughs> you don't even understand. That's the a MacBook slump. cube. That's not an iPhone cube. It's a whole thing, dude. 
<laughs> Dude, they purposely thing, make them just a big enough. So it's just like big enough. Nothing ah, else is good. You're going to have to get another outlet. <laughs> oh, that's unlucky. It's a whole thing, man. That's so interesting. You think they did that on purpose? I don't know, dude. I'm, I'm oh my though, though. gosh, dude, dude. it's little, it's little things that you wouldn't even think of. You know, it's just yeah, it's 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 an irritation, man. Oh man, but it doesn't have to be this way. Keep it a bean, though. The the Apple OS is far superior. I I I, I probably I can probably say the tech is definitely not superior, especially if they're outsourcing to Samsung for their screens. Like yeah. Um, but the OS, dude, that's really why people still have Apple. It's not because of the phone's shiny. There's some good looking phones out there right now, dude. That's fair. And they I all have cameras that are freaking mind blowing. Well, my cam. Uh, it's great. But the OS, dude, the airdrop. And now if you, any Shout pictures, out to the pixel. P- picture, the pixel is nice too, but any pictures you take now, the functions are just exponentially like getting better more and more involved with like creating on the iPhone. So yeah. you take a picture and it's like, you want me to chop out this background for you? I could do it right now. Like you don't even have to just hold me. And it just chops the background out of a normal picture. It's like, holy crap, dude. Like you, yeah, it's this nice. is crazy. The OS is an airdrop. Airdrop is fire. What's, what's the Bluetooth situation for your phone? Anything like How that? How do you mean? Like, can I, yeah, I mean, we, we, you can do it a million different ways. It's really up to you. I see. The, the bottom line is that it's the, the reason people that ru- people run Android is so that you have a choice completely over all of your stuff. You don't have to do anything one specific way, whatever feels comfortable. I can access all the folders on my phone. Like it's a PC. It's just a PC. Okay. That's it. And it run and it, and it works the same way. It feels a lot like windows in that sense. So how do you send me a video? How do I send yeah, you a like video? How, that if I, I had take? another Android like, and I was sitting next to you, how would you send me a nice like, one-minute video and keep all the quality? I'd drive it to you. Yeah, see, dude, it's too much. It, is it? Yes, dude. How is that too because much? Because for a guy like me, How many more shooter, clicks can that be than AirDrop? Th- then importing it into a drive and then sharing the drive? Is that what you're saying? Like, put it into a drive folder, share the drive folder. Right. No, yeah, that's that's How definitely many more, more clicks can that be? I would say like at least five or six. Uh, and the time. Might be two. And the time but, because you're uploading. Then that then guy has to download. download. Right. That's fair. Yeah. So dude, airdrop is So you, uh, what do you how do you think airdrop works? You don't think it's an it's, upload and download situation? It's Bluetooth and it's instant with no quality loss. You don't have to go to the folder that you sent me and then click download, wait for it to download. It's just freaking there, dude. But I'm sure that there is an application that anyone could download and use that works exactly like AirDrop. You on know, Android. I thought about that, but I had never seen it. I looked into yeah. it. I never okay. seen it, dude. Because I always, I'm a I PC have it guy. Drive, drive feels good to me, so I'm, I didn't care. I'm a but. PC guy, and I always wanted to just AirDrop or whatever to my PC. Right. So I've looked into that stuff, and it just doesn't exist. Mm. I know it's just Bluetooth at the root of it. It's just Bluetooth, yeah. but. Why is no one just making a, a Androp? I'm sure it exists. <laughs> That's the thing, man. I'll, I'll, I'll take dude. a look. I'll All send right, it your take way. Take a look. Send it my way. And then when I come through this now, weekend. Can, can, we, can we do it? Can we do it between my Android and your <laughs> iPhone? You know your iPhone's not going to allow that shit. Oh, hell no. This. You got a friend that doesn't use our product? You need new friends, bro. That's what that's the pop up that you're gonna get. Dude, the best part is when you send me a picture and it's like this big and pixelated. I, yeah, it's the same thing when you send me anything. <laughs> it's like it they, looks like trash. But you know that. which end of that is doing that on both. purpose? No, it's both. It is not it's both, both, man. It's both. Man. It's both. Hashtag Hashtag the, into it, listeners. You're forgetting the biggest part, Slum. What's the biggest part? I, I'm only I st- I use Apple. Products just because I don't want to get bullied over the green text. The green text is so get, hilarious. You, get a, you put a green text in a group chat. Oh, everyone bullies you. It's if the you most. Put me in a group text. I'm gonna bully you. I don't want to be in that shit. Are you kidding me? Well, I'm, did they fix I'm, it? Like, do you get I'm bodied old, dude. by? Phone call me. I don't want your text message. I hear that, but do do you get? Are you able to get into group chats yet, Markstrom? Am I able to get into group? Yeah, because there was. I'm a, in group chats with Alexander's family. Okay. Yes. 
Because there was a time where you just get single messages from everyone uh, in there. Yes. That oh is my correct. god, I can't I imagine those times. <laughs> oh my god, dude! It was absolutely putrid. Not even responding to you, just someone saying something in the group chat. You're like, "Why did you send this to me?" Dude? Yep. And I'm trying to piece it together yeah. like I'm Charlie in the back room <laughs> looking for Pepe Silvia, dude. I got everything posted. Awful. There is no Pepe Silvia. Oh, bro. God. <sighs> awful <laughs> well i mean maybe apple's turning a new leaf i doubt it because all the s- decisions they've <laughs> made have turned them it. into one of the biggest and most successful tech companies on this on this There's earth no doubt about that so we'll see but at the end of the day what Mar- marketing is king dude oh for sure people well, out you there still marketing have to have a great product. like a g make them money still have to have a great product which they do they, they have a great product. They have a great ecosystem. But you don't have to have the best. You know what I saw? No, you don't have to have the best. You That's know what true. I saw the other day that was very, very interesting? It was a, it was a clip about branding. And I know this is kind of off topic, but it, this, is, this is plugged. It's a clip about branding. And there was yeah. a guy who invented something called the thumb test. And what he did basically was like, okay, so here's your controller. Here's a, yep. an Xbox controller. What would it look like if you covered the thumb? Do you still know what it is? If you covered the logo with your thumb, do you still know what yep. it is? And he did that with products and mm-hmm. stores and, and just everything about your brand. Cover it with your thumb. Do you still know what it is? Right. And for the companies that are gigantic, you could do that with everything, a product or store, a commercial, cover it with your thumb. And I still know what that is. Right. That's marketing. I, I saw that clip and I was like, holy crap. Yeah, that's good. And, my, and then he, he showed you the red container with fries coming out of the top. Mm. And he's like, you know what company this is? It's like, fuck yeah, it's McDonald's. Give me two quarter pounders and 50 nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> that is an actual slum <laughs> order for those listeners that didn't hear last week. Yeah. Oh, man. <sighs> Unreal. So speaking of, uh, speaking of things that we've talked about before on this podcast... I think we got something that I'd actually like Abe to talk about because he might be the most interested about this topic um, in this crew. And that topic is aliens. Mm. That's Abe, because you, you haven't seen the video yet. So. I've, I've, I've seen it, but let's bring it up. Talk to us about it. Bring right, up the video, so young Abe. I'll bring up the video first. And is this, does this <laughs> tell us what's going Mexico on as by a chance? Oh, yeah, hold on. Let me, let me stage it a little bit. Yeah, this <laughs> is the one from Mexico. So basically... The Mexican government has come out and said that they have definitive proof of aliens uh, and they have fossilized alien mummies uh, that are uh, with like DNA records and all these things to prove without Mm. beyond a reasonable doubt that these are indeed, Mm. uh, you know, these are alien mummies. So you just got to see what these things look like. So there's a newscaster. Can I preface this with one thing first? Go ahead. Spielberg was right, bro. He knew. So we're Take a watch- look at that guy right there. We're watching a. Well, did Spielberg do ET? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, in this clip, he says, and they kind of look like ET. <laughs> uh, so we're watching this clip right now, and it's a news guy talking about we found aliens and they're mummified in this art museum. And these things are on the it's nose like a- exactly what you think what yeah. aliens would look like, air quotes. That's why. I don't. That's why you know it's not it. I don't buy it. But on top of that, this is this is like a a baby coffin. Yeah. With 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 literally, uh, it looks like my second grade clay project that got put into the kiln and barely ex- survived all the explosions of all the kids that didn't get their air pockets out <laughs> dude, and then put the face dude, of et on that thing dude, and that's exactly what i'm looking at, dude. I felt so bad. I was the kid that exploded a bunch of times. I felt <laughs> yeah, so, so bad. Yeah, I'm really stunned. Oh, I'm, that's crazy, bro. Who would have guessed that? And you would never have pulled something like this out. There's no way. bomb in the kiln, dude. <laughs> I just put a big clay chunk at the bottom, dude. <laughs> just throw it right at the bottom. Um, these things are too spot on. They're too spot on with what culture and movies has said aliens look like. You think that guy likes Reese's Pieces? <laughs> you know he likes Reese's Pieces, dude. Wasn't look at that thing. So E.T., had short legs, long torso, I feel like. He was all, yeah, he was he like was feet, fat feet and torso. Oh, he had fat. a good pudgy belly on yeah. him, man. Yeah. He was like feet and torso. 
That's that's yeah. how I think ET was. Yeah. This is like you shrink the human body down. He's got longer arms, super skinny, and his face literally looks like what you would think if you're watching a movie with aliens. It's on the nose. It's I don't crazy. think this is real, dude. I don't think it's real. <laughs> you know, I think I'll I'm going to go out on a limb and agree with you, Slum. Why? I take why the Go ahead. What would do you, Abe? Do you think no, this is not real? You're, that's you're, you're no, dude. This is obviously fake. <laughs> Just got all the way through this week in Congress, which is like the most wild thing Why? I've heard. What's the reason? Aliens are hot right now. Aliens are hot, bro. <laughs> Mexico is trying to get in on that sweet money train, those sweet clicks, dude. It's a That's tourist it's attraction about. now. Welcome to the news. Oh, God. This is so crazy. If I was that guy, the anchor, I'd be like, mm. guys, don't disrespect me like this. Yeah, what, what are we doing here? Give me something. They don't Give care, me- dude. Give me the largest cookie in, in San Antonio or something, dude. That's like, the way the cookie crumble. <laughs> like, don't give me this. This is this is a joke. You guys think I'm a joke? I'm going to report on this. And then there's like, well, that up and comer the the who's day, like, give me all the they want. All they want is, is the ratings, man. How many people you think have tuned into this and that website got clicks off of this video? That is ridiculous. The click economy. An insane amount. The click economy is real, bro. <sighs> that's disappointing man <laughs> the, the clay art project description is the best possible description of <laughs> yeah, this thing i've ever heard that is exactly mind. what it is it, it looks exactly like it's a pinch pot on top yeah. of a, a body that's, yeah that's exactly what it is and my aunt definitely still has those sitting around her house <laughs> you go you visit her and bro she's still got them posted up i got a manatee from when i was like eight years old and it looks sick dude. <laughs> it looks exactly like this <laughs> well, I'm really close. Clips in them well, so on her desk. you'd keep it on her work desk and put paper. Nice, clips in her very oh, nice. Yeah. Good for you, dude. My, I made my mom a teapot, and uh, she's so she has teapots all over her house, just filled with teapots. And yeah. mine's got and vases. The, yeah, mine's got the best spot, dude. My oh, yeah? lumpy yellow teapot That's that I made up. in 3D art. It's not functional, but um, <laughs> all right. So clicks. They wanted clicks. Who? What about the guy that made these things? Like, what do you think's going through his head as he's making these? It's got to be. The new studio is going to pay me 30 bucks in like a pack of Twinkies. 30? Like, I, I don't know, dude. You like, can't keep a guy silent with 30 bucks. Listen, I don't think the guy who made that has a whole bunch of like marketable skills slum. That's a take what you can get type situation. I don't know. That was pretty good. News Anchor's dude. kid made it. Maybe. I don't know. I don't, it was it pretty was good. Project. It was pretty good. Uh, a lot of geez. pesos. 30 bucks is a lot of pesos. That's true. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. So Abe, you think it's fake? Solid evidence. Yeah, this is this is uh I, I would be willing to bet that that is fake. Mm. Mm. Hot <laughs> takes all around, boys. Oh Jesus. All right. Well, keep keep them coming, Abe. We'll we'll check in on the alien situation. Maybe one day we'll get something that looks promising. Mm. Um so the past couple days, apparently there's been some madman running around me and, uh, and Abe's um, area. He was a fugitive that broke out of jail and he's been on the run, mm-hmm. but he, he got caught. So fill me in a- either you or Abe. Cause I, I didn't even know this was going on, dude. This is going on Abe's my backyard on this day to day. That's all it. <laughs> I, I received a couple lockdown warnings from the police. Wow. Uh, for, for specifically because he was basically in, in, in the town that I live in for a little while. Um, but I need you to watch the video first, Slum, if you haven't seen it, of okay. how he got out. Do we have the video? Oh, oh yeah, I we do. We got the video. <laughs> okay. Do we ever. All right. So another anchor is about to show us a video of this guy breaking out of prison. The prison escape video. That's a young guy, dude. Mm-hmm. He's accomplished he's like, a lot so far at his right supple age. <laughs> Jesus. Watch uh, this now. All right. So he's just like, okay, he's got hands on one side of the wall, feet on the other, and he's scaling upwards up the wall like we used to when we were kids. Holy crap. So now he did that, got to the roof where uh, I should preface this by saying previously, another inmate escaped the exact same way. Right. So this is this is the second time someone escaped from this prison this way. All they did was add some razor wire to the roof. Razor and he wire? got through the razor wire. Yeah. That ain't shit. He got through it. 
Yep. And he got out and the guard that was in the guard tower that was supposed to be watching that area. Apparently he was fired at this point, but the speculation was that he was using a cell phone, which was not permitted. So this dude's just candy crushing while this guy's crab walking. <laughs> out of the oh gosh. <laughs> oh no. And he's already let one through. Wait, yeah. that guy so, was the guy that let one through as well, uh, or may, uh, maybe all right. I don't know. potentially they got that guy instantly though. It's probably a different person because they got the other one like instantly. Mm. Uh, because they saw him escaping this one that they were unable to see. And also he is only five foot tall, this inmate. So that is a very, he, he didn't have, almost didn't have the body length to be able to make that crab walk happen. Yeah, like I five agree. Foot, 120 pounds. I agree. He looked like he was struggling a little, but when you're, when it's life or death, dude, I'm climbing that wall. But they did catch him. Yeah. Did he turn himself in or did he get caught? No, no. Today That's hard. he no. was caught. He was caught today. The crazy part to me is that they pretty much were tracking his location just through so many different weird cams. Like they had one guy's uh, trail cam. They had another person's ring cam. Dude, good luck hiding today, man. Yep. There, dude, it is crazy. Yep. And can do they have permission to access it in a situation I like that? I think they're accessing it whether they, you want them oh, to or Oh, for not. sure. But like, are they open it's about It's not that? like the person on the ring camera checked their footage, saw a person was spotted, and then sent it to the local authorities. There's no way that's no. the case, right? Well, so. They were offering $25,000 for information that led to his capture. So there could have been some willing how do they? How do they, how do they? Where's that line? You know, I'll, I'll give you information. And then tomorrow, if you capture him, you're like, where's that mm. line of information that may lead to his capture? It's a great question. You think about becoming a bounty hunter? No, no. The bounty hunter goes and brings him in. You think it, you're the next big bad dog? No, dude. I don't want to do that. <laughs> um, but I'm saying, like, it, information that leads to his capture. Okay. Well, yeah, I, hear you. I, I saw and, him in Pennsylvania. <laughs> you and everybody else. Is that 25000 I don't think so. I don't think okay. that's where that works. So I saw him at his ex girlfriend's house. Oh. I, I could just oh, go, go in. Ex girlfriend's uh, house. And he's there. What if he's not there? Was, what if he's down the street? Maybe. So like, where's that? Clear, this guy was in jail. This guy's in jail for yeah. killing his ex girlfriend. So, yeah. so he didn't see him there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was just taking a stab at it. Like he did. Yeah, I think he, he did took too. a stab at it. He took about 37. <laughs> oh my God. So he got caught in a bird's uh, hoodie. Yeah. Yep. That's, oh, yeah. that's the, yeah. That Go was birds, baby. Downfall. So he lasted 14 days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 14 days. They were hunting. You should have seen. That was one of the things I wanted to say too. Is the that's got to be a PB. <laughs> <laughs> the tech that they used to find him was extraordinary. There was like, infrared drones and all these different things that they were deploying and he just kept getting away he is one slippery dude 14 days wait me like an uncooked hot dog why did he not just go like super far away i think right? he tried um they like were he checking being, trains shutting them down checking trains taxi, all kinds dude. of things taxi to texas yeah and you think they would do that uh you might Maybe be uber no, no way, not an Uber. They're too Can't corpo. Uber. I think, I think like a, I don't know, man. I, how would you get away, Slum? You think it's a taxi? First and foremost, um, it looks like he still has all his hair. Cut it. Oh, yeah, that's gone. Cut it for sure. Yeah, you got a um, bald town tiger that thing quick. Bald town tiger, absolutely. <laughs> and then I would, I would probably try Dude, to hit the, your appearance. Change the appearance and then. Um, I would reach out to anyone who I think still has my back. Although, for, let it be known, I would not be in for, for... The only way I'd be in jail is false accusation of something. I'd not be murdering anyone. I'd not be... And then, so he, this adds to the story. If I reached out to people after that, they'd also know that. And they'd be like, all right, let me... I can maybe help you a little. I'd try to get a little bit of cash. I'd get taxied as far as I can. And I'd say, you didn't see me. And give this guy a little bit more. There it is. I don't. I don't know though, dude. I that's, that's twenty five G's though. If he leads to your capture, you know, you giving him twenty five G's. Fifty. Like... <laughs> Got double it. Okay. Actually, think, I, uh... I might kill that guy <laughs> after we get there. Well, now you act. Well, hold on. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> he didn't do anything wrong to begin with. Uh, oh shit. Uh. 
<laughs> All right. What was I on for trial for? Ultimate. Trial for not this one. The it's other one. Def- it's definitely the cheaper option. You're not wrong. <laughs> Just to be clear here, clear here too. Slum's ultimate getaway plan is to not commit crimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man or just like hang in a basement as long as you can dude and then gain a lot of weight get super fat oh i like that and then have someone like wheelchair you around and like get away slowly but surely i like that i like the idea of hiding this is in my plain cousin sight. huey yep you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. i really no, like the who's, idea who's questioning who's questioning cousin huey in a wheelchair no one I don't think so. Maybe man. chop a leg off. Yeah. You get fat enough, deep. you can just take your foot off. That's true. Yeah. 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 Maybe yeah, like I'm trying I'm trying to eat my foot off, to be honest. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like who like Zeph? If I'm gonna lose a foot, it's gonna be it's gonna be through copious amounts of ice cream. <laughs> what? Speaking of lost foot, I just watched one piece and and, and did you watch it or no? No, no spoilers. All right, yeah, yeah. Never mind then. Forget what I said. Oh, it's great though. Yeah. All right, so this guy, and also let it be known, I'd last much longer than this guy. Oh, how about you? You think you'd last longer than him? Fourteen days is impressive, dude. I don't know. I'd like to think so, but I, that's that's not bad. You think you're sleeping at all? Not a lot. Nah, not a lot. I mean, you can't even hide in the woods, man. Why not? Because they got the infrared drones out there looking for you. <sighs> Thermal signatures in the middle of the woods, man. They're checking that. Mm. Yeah, I don't think crazy. I even make it half as long. I think I don't. I don't even think I get close to fourteen. I'm thinking three max. <laughs> three days. Three it's, days max. Oh my gosh! I'm how many not sure. Listen, I think I'm just you? trying to figure out how to how to live my best life in prison. At that point, bro, you got a double life sentence. I'm. I'm not trying to break out and deal with all that headache. I mean, you think yeah, you are? It's we can't put ourselves in that situation because this is a guy who committed murder. I, you're not. You're not. Th- I, we're not. Th- I don't have a murderer's mindset, so I don't know. You got to get in there, bro. Me <laughs> right now, I'm Inside like the mind of a murder. <laughs> me right now, I'm like fuck yeah, I'm getting out of there. But as a murderer, like I don't know. I don't know, dude. I would never. Mm. That makes me feel uncomfortable even thinking about that. There's That's just certain kinda, things. You it's ever like, have dreams like that where like you're you're running? Yeah, oh, and, and you did something terrible, and oh, dude, you're getting hawked down. Not oh, a good dream. Oh no, I was never not the one doing dream. terrible things. I bet it's not that you did the terrible things that that people think you did. The, the dream started, you gotta, and you're already yeah, running. Right? Yeah. Okay. Awful. <sighs> not good. Okay. Okay. Do you do you, you ever get? get I, get I get like one or two of those a year. That's saying something, dude. Yeah, you, you running think? from something? I would dig Maybe. it. Would, what are you running from? I would explore that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> explore away, big dog. Explore that. Um, okay. So speaking of crime, NYPD looks to make Minority Report a reality. Mm. Abe, fill me in on this. This one's cool. So uh, the New York City Police Department has an $8 million contract with a company called Voyager Labs. And they essentially use AI to monitor various online behaviors, including Mm. social media and things like that. And then that's not something that's new. Uh, You know, there's definitely been police and investigative work that is used online uh, tracking and stuff to, to solve crimes. But the claim by this particular company is that it can detect crime before it happens. Yep. I hate this. Of pre crime, I hate so this. Will predict who commits crimes based off the algorithm that their AI monitors. Disgusting, absolutely disgusting. So this is Minority Report. That's, yeah, I mean, that's unless basically. you have, unless you have, like the precogs in the liquid. Get out of here with your pre crime bullshit. Correct. You know what I mean? Correct. <laughs> like they, they are better. They better be some actual like hocus pocus fortune tellers in yep. in in the juice. You know what I'm saying? Because otherwise. No shot. And, and it depends what you do, too, because say this is the one area where I'll be okay with a capacity, not full capacity, but a sliver of what they're doing. So say there's a kid who is on social media and he's like doing stuff to animals or something, like mm-hmm. not the stuff mm-hmm. you want to be doing as a kid. Mm-hmm. If, if people approached the family and said, we'd like to 
do something. We'd like to put them in this kind of help session therapy. Right. I'd I'd be okay with that type of stuff. But for n- sure. But they're saying. I could I could think okay we have social media posts of guys waving guns around and they're doing they're drinking and stuff like that uh, so we're just gonna go arrest them turns out these guys are legal gun owners and they're business owners and they like to celebrate after a good deal it's like you it's you're putting so much power into people that have authority without it's I, predict future crimes predict future criminals like. And then what? You're gonna arrest them before they do a crime? What? This is That's absolutely where it gets crazy. Hairy. That's the part I don't understand. Is if you you have identified a criminal, like what do you do? <laughs> like they didn't do anything wrong. You can't arrest them. Correct. So you so you surveil them more, and you yeah. you infringe on their rights more. Right. That's probably what they would do. I don't know. It's interesting. I don't That's like for that, sure. dude. I think I think there that we do have the capability to be preventative in today's world, but like you said, it's like uh, it's a fine line of what is okay and what isn't. And I think that as long as there are established rules about like, you know, some sort of established law about behavior even on the internet with regards to like uh threatening xyz if if that is like clear cut then so be it you know what i mean okay uh but yeah i mean uh, at what point are i mean like I, I i guess i guess like we we look at a lot of these like um violent offenders and for sure i'm sure like this comes about because they have like horrifying online personas sure you know what i mean okay and so there's like something there but the the question is like how do you how do you because obviously like it comes from the place of wanting to prevent like a violent crime in advance right but the but the what you do with that person beforehand yeah as a result of whatever triggered the you know like the ping if you will or the mark on them mm-hmm. is obviously going to be super different than if they had actually done the thing mm-hmm. right i don't think like that that is super unreasonable so depending on their behavior so let let me paint a picture for you sure so let's say someone is 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 in his garage all the time and he's doing like self-defense tactics or something and he's practicing with knives and he films himself and he's not crazy and you can you could see like he's there he's just showing us like this is what you want to do and then he starts putting like a president's face on the dummy and starts like doing him to the dummy now is that something that like dude this guy's planning an assassination like we gotta we gotta handle him what would you, what, what do you think they would do with in that situation that I'm nervous. Yeah, of the I, th- I think it's a, it's a monitor kind of thing. I, a I, monitor. I'm sure. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But it's not like we're not already being monitored. I know. <laughs> so what's the difference, man? I don't like Let that outlook. No, no, it's Let not it right, dude. Not Infringe what's the on my rights. I don't give get a shit. I'm over out it, of dude. here, dude. <laughs> Listen to my conversations. Watch me, watch me get naked. I don't care, bro. Well, I do. Tap so into all of it. Tap in, get plugged into him. Don't get plugged into me. (laughs) Give me my privacy. All right. So we'll see, we'll see where that goes. What do you got? Well, I was going to ask, like, if you were going to, what are your guys' metrics for determining pre-crime? Like what, what would you look for to determine if someone I'm looking first and foremost to see if they're a League of Legends player. And then (laughs) I'd go through their logs. (laughs) That's what I would do first. Then... I would see if they have uh, signed into Dark and Darker and see if they run base lobbies with all epic gear. You know what I mean? <laughs> they, they avoid the high roller completely uh, or they preemptively team up in Goblin Caves. Now, that was, that's my criteria, Abe. That's how I find okay. the psychopaths. What about you, Slum? What's your, what's your psychopath analysis? Uh, psychopath analysis. I mean, so if, if we're talking about monitoring on social media and stuff, if they're doing... Um, weird stuff, and I'm not gonna get too 
too deep into weird, but I see people doing weird stuff on social media all the time, but I don't want, I don't want cops to just arrest them. However, right. if we wanted to go and, and pursue it a little bit, if there is a threshold of weird behavior and activity, I would say then it gets triggered to the next thing. And let's say, let's see, does he have a history with, um, with mental illness? Has he been to the doctors? Is he on medication? Is he not taking his medication right now? What's Ooh, his so family violations? What's up? Oh, that's true. <laughs> Shit. Poggers. What's his yeah. family life like? Mm. How deep do you go? You go deep, dude. You before you arrest a guy. <laughs> <laughs> before you arrest someone for not committing a crime, you go as deep as you gotta go, dude, to give yourself the most reason to have actual reason to arrest someone. I hear you. What? Who knows? I think you were onto something with the animals. I think that's yeah. like a big thing for serial killers. For sure. They all like abused animals and stuff. Yep. Absolutely. I would just get a list dogs. of everyone. <laughs> I would get a list of everyone that's bought uh, like a streamer's bath water or one of those like that, that kind of like farts mm. in a jar. Mm-hmm. All Round them up. Round them all up. Yeah. Farts in a jar. Anyone who's watched anime. That's. <laughs> <laughs> anime, bro. I'll tell you what. After you watch One Piece, you will agree with this statement. You want it, me to... You, the, you mean, talking about the, the live action? I'm sure the anime is even more fire, but I just watched the oh, live action. Nice, okay. That's um, on my list. I've obviously been a little preoccupied for the last 21 days. Yeah. Uh, to reiterate from last week, today is 21 days into the subathon. Yes, we are still live. Yes, it is still happening. Yes, there's still 20-some hours on the clock. Okay, go ahead. So I, I feel like I've talked to you, talked to this or talked about this to you before Naruto. I watched Naruto yeah. and yeah. it was probably the most impactful thing I've watched for me. And it's a freaking cartoon. It's an anime. However, there's mm. lessons, there's morals, there's values. Love it, dude. After you watch One Piece, you'll, you'll agree with it is a masterclass in team building mm. and speaking things into existence and self-belief mm, it is manifestation frick- it is tremendous dude so anime a lot of this stuff dude is heavy like that it looks like a child video but it's it, this stuff is heavy bro and it's cool because I, th- I think like the the beauty of it being animated is that the there are no limits right so like you can yes. tell you can tell this amazing story and not have it be super jarring being limited by some sort of like yep. tech that's necessary to display this, you know, scene that you're trying to display. So yep. you can do whatever you want. The only it's, limitation uh, is your freeing. imagination. That's true. Pretty so cool. So you got to watch it. Um, oh, It'll get on the list. <laughs> which list? Your movie list or the FBI's uh, monitoring list? <laughs> Maybe both. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Well, um, I'm, I, I'm upset we couldn't determine a metric for how to screen these crazy people, but who knows? Maybe we'll... Thankfully, maybe we'll, it's not up to us. Yeah. Well, is, that, is that a good thing? Probably not. <laughs> but it's one less thing I'm going to think about. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm excited about future episodes because I want to keep checking in on aliens. I love that. Um, I want to keep checking in on this AI tech. And I'm also excited to hear where this Unity and Unreal Engine thing goes. Or not necessarily Unreal Engine, but this whole Unity thing. I would not yeah. be surprised if we see a big shift to Unreal Engine. So I'll, I'll put that out there right now. <clears throat> but other than that, um, what is going on in your life, dude? What's going on, Markstrom? You know, I haven't seen the sun in three weeks, chat. No, I, I, I have gone outside. I will let the record show that despite the insane uh subathon going on and spending a lot of time playing games i have managed uh yet again to live a relatively balanced life during this and uh getting good sleep eight hours plus a night getting four workouts in minimum a week Sheesh. and uh eating well still mowing the lawn we got that on stream we got a lot of different segments going on so it's it's been uh it's been a journey and I have no idea when it will end. There is an eight week cap. So there is like, you know, there's light at the end of the tunnel. It's just, we're not even halfway there. So <clears throat> maybe, maybe the timer, maybe the timer will uh, crap out on us, but uh, 
yeah, it's it's been awesome. And, and honestly, the community has been incredibly supportive. And uh, it's cool to be able to provide them with content that's different than the uh, than the usual day to day stream. So it's always a nice opportunity to do so. And uh, yeah, we are 360 some subs away, I think, from uh, being able to shave the head of one of our uh, favorite near and dear community members live from TwitchCon Vegas, which I will be at. Are we going to are we going to go live? Oh, it's an IRL, my friend. Oh, beautiful. Magic. Yes. Did you, can, did you let them know where we can watch you live? Twitch.tv slash Markstrom. Beautiful. 24-7. Beautiful. And I believe... you, Slum? I think you'll still find them there next week. Okay. When you, or whenever you hear this. We'll see. Um, before me, let's, let's check in with Abe, dude. He's crushing it. I want to hear from him. Yeah, you know, I've been... Congratulations uh, on your safety, Abe, by the way. <laughs> Thank Glad you. you made it through, bro. Yeah, that's that's the biggest update in my life is that I escaped the escapee. But uh, yeah, I, you know, I've been uh, tagging along for the subathon too. We've survived power outages. We've survived mm. armored core. Mm. We have survived a lot of hurdles on the way to get to 21 days. And I'm proud of the chat for, for making it this far. And I haven't had to bust out the band hammer while I'm moderating. So that's uh, pretty good. It's either my lack of abilities to be a good moderator or... Uh, there just hasn't been a lot of shenanigans. So for the both. foreseeable future, I will also be there. Oh, yeah. Good to hear. Good to hear. <clears throat> um, me, myself, Slum, it is, it's been wonderful watching this subathon. And like I said last week, until this thing is wrapped, the only thing I want to promote is twitch.tv slash Markstrom. We're having a wonderful time over there. There's a lot of new stuff that's been going on. A lot of stuff that we've achieved that now, after this wraps up, we got a lot of work to do, which is fun. That is true also. Can't wait for that. Um, so pop on over. I would, I would, let me just break it down a little more for you. Um, I stumbled into Markstrom stream uh, probably like eight years ago, maybe longer or, or less. What do you think? Eight-ish, uh, nine. it was eight years, five months, eight years, five months. So, um, and I was in a position where I cut my friends out and I was lonely and I didn't really know what I was doing with my life. And I stumbled into this community and it was one of the most life changing events that has ever happened to me. So if you're out there and if you're maybe dealing with a little bit of that, even a smidge of that, come on through, have a great time with us. Um, but other than that, it's been a wonderful conversation, guys, and uh, I can't wait till next week. Appreciate you. Have a good night. Peace.